Hello, and welcome to the Homeowner's Guide to Stormwater video series presented by the Westmoreland Conservation District. This is part seven. You can control roof water in just five steps. In this video, we will walk you through measuring the amount of stormwater you can capture and how to construct a stone-filled trench or well that will infiltrate that stormwater into the ground. An infiltration trench or dry well is a rock-filled pit that can store stormwater runoff from a rainstorm and allow that water to soak into the surrounding soils over time. By using a trench or dry well, you can capture stormwater on your property before it can run off and harm neighbors downhill. The worksheets in your local stormwater ordinance appendix will help you figure out what size you need, but we will walk you through it in this video. Step one is all about measuring and calculating the amount of water that you can manage. Start by determining what part of the roof you can capture with your gutters and downspouts or paved area and safely direct to an in-ground stone bed. Measure the length and width of your foundation that matches the roof or paving. Multiply the length by the width to determine the square foot area. In this example, a 40 foot by 30 foot roof equals 1200 square feet. To determine the amount of water you should manage, multiply the square foot area of the roof by the inches in feet of rainfall that your municipality recommends, whether it's one or two inches. A two inch rain is 0.167 feet. So for our example, a 1200 square foot of roof times 0.167 will have 200 cubic feet of water runoff. Taking the amount of water that you want to manage, step two is to determine what size of stone filled trench or well that you will need to hold that amount of water. A pile of clean stone has a 40% void space in which to hold that water. Divide the cubic feet of your runoff by 0.4 to find the cubic feet of the trench or drywall that you will need to dig. Then, determine the best length, width, and depth to hold that amount of water on your property. Using our example, 200 cubic feet of runoff from the 1200 square foot roof, you divide by 0.4 and it equals 500 cubic feet of stone filled trench or dry well that will be needed to be dug. A 500 cubic foot trench or dry well that is five feet deep, five feet wide, will need to be about 20 feet long. Step three is to find the best location for your trench or dry well. It should be on nearly level to gently sloping land and away from trees and any underground utilities, especially a septic tank or drainage field. You will need it to be below your downspouts if it's from the roof and at least 10 feet away from a building foundation or underground basement. Once you know the size and have picked out a location, step four is to actually build the infiltration trench or dry well. The first thing you must do is to make sure that there are no utilities crossing through the area where you need to dig, whether it's water, gas, telephone, or another utility. Call 811. This is the Pennsylvania One Call system to determine if there are any public utilities in the way of your proposed excavation. The utility company should come out and mark them. Then you can locate your own underground connections from the house to the public connection to find out where your private lines are located and to make sure you will not hit them while you are digging. Some trenches or dry wells can be dug by hand, but a small excavator will do it much more efficiently. Place a landscape fabric in the bottom and along the sides of the excavation to prevent the surrounding soil from clogging the stone. A perforated piping system should be installed in the excavation to distribute water throughout the stone. Fill the excavation with clean stone to within four to six inches of the surrounding lawn. Provide a clean out pipe vertically to the surface and allow an overflow pipe for times when the system becomes too full. Then you cover the top of the stone with another layer of separation fabric. Cover the separation fabric with more stone or topsoil and seed to match the surrounding lawn. Finally, step five is to maintain your stormwater infiltration trench or dry well system. Keep your gutters and downspouts clear of debris that may clog your underground system. The trench or dry well piping should also be inspected several times a year and even after very heavy rain events by looking in the vertical pipe. Pump the system out and clear any debris that may have collected if you find water staying in the system long after there has been any rain. 
Plant trees or water-tolerant plants below the trench or well to help use up some of that water that is in the ground. To learn more, continue to watch the videos in this Homeowner's Guide to Stormwater series. Contact your municipality or visit westmorelandconservation.org to review the Homeowner's Guide to Stormwater and the toolkit pages. Thank you for joining us for the Homeowner's Guide to Stormwater video series, Part 7. Please join us next time for Part 8. You can capture rainwater in a garden where we will discuss the Beth method. Please join us next for Part 8. You can capture rainwater in a garden where we will discuss the best methods to build your own rain garden using rich soil and plants. This has been presented by the Westmoreland Conservation District.